Open up your purge. Airlock Houston uh, for Joe and Maker. Can you verify step 1702 actuator off? For EV2, Joe. Yeah, we're showing it off on both. Okay, copy. Thanks. Got it. So now with their uh, safer units uh, off and both astronauts in place, all uh, photos of the gloves have been taken and switches and knobs have been turned to their proper configuration. Uh, Joe Acaba and Scott Tinga will continue to take off the our crew member suits, Norshige Kanai and uh, Mark Vandehei, who have just completed a five-hour, 57-minute spacewalk uh, to switch some of the locations of the latching end effector, one of which was the latching end effector that's behind them right now in the crew lock, uh, to be brought back into the, or brought into the uh, International Space Station and stored temporarily in the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module until it's brought down to Earth for, refur for refurbishment on a SpaceX. Now removing the gloves, which is the primary source of uh, tension and stress during a spacewalk. Not a lot of uh, walking during a spacewalk. Uh, feet are not really used except for Mark Vanahai on the right who uh, strapped himself into the portable foot restraint that he used for various tasks throughout uh, the spacewalk today. Otherwise, uh, spacewalks are, are mostly used with their gloves and hands. Uh, taking off the gloves uh, relieves tension. You might see them uh, move their fingers a little bit and uh, relieve some of the stress from that five and five hour, 57 minute spacewalk.
Then I now has his helmet off. You can see Tingle in the back uh, checking the uh, uh, helmet for any uh, sources of water on his head. On Van High's head is the helmet absorption pad uh, that we've been referring to throughout today's uh, spacewalk that in the event that uh, there would be any sort of water leakage inside the helmet, that absorption pad would uh, take care of any obstruction to his eyes or nose uh, and would just uh, remain in that absorption pad. Another uh, short lapse in communication as we're uh, handing over from satellite to satellite those tracking and data relight satellites that we've been referring to throughout today's spacewalk um, that maintain audio and visual communication with uh, the International Space Station. Uh, just as we cut from that, Joe Acaba and Scott Tingle inside the equipment lock were uh, taking off the gloves and helmet of Norshige Kanai on the left there. Uh, Mark Van Ahai already has his gloves and helmet off. Once Kanai has the helmet off, we'll wrap up today's coverage and uh, give you some quick stats of today's 5-hour, 57-minute spacewalk. As we get a live view from the uh, inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room here in Houston, Texas, a quick congratulations to the team here that um, helped the uh, spacewalk today go so smoothly, led by Flight Director uh, Zeb Scoville uh, there at the center of the screen. To his right is Doug Wheelock, who's been communicating with the crew inside the International Space Station, um, especially Joe Acaba and uh, Scott Tingle, who have been at the hands of the controls of the station's robotic arm throughout today's activities. Next to him, Aki Hoshide, who have been communicating with the crew throughout today's 5-hour, 57-minute spacewalk. Sarah Corona leading the uh, EVA team from the console behind uh, Zeb Scoville and uh, working with her team uh, in the back room supporting today's EVA.
So a uh, quick recap of today's activities. Uh, the astronauts, as we regain um, communication with the views inside uh, the International Space Station, Joe Acaba and Scott Tingle continuing to uh, help the astronauts get out of their suits. Uh, as we regain communication, looks like Mark Van Hai is already out, uh, taking a quick break, and um, uh, Norshige Kanai is on his way out with the help of Joe Acaba and Scott Tingle. Just to review today's activities by the numbers, this was the 208th spacewalk in support of International Space Station Assembly and Maintenance. It was the third spacewalk conducted at the International Space Station this year. Uh, this was the fourth spacewalk of Mark Vandehei's career, totaling 26 hours and 42 minutes, the first of Kanai's career, the length of today's EVA, 5 hours and 57 minutes, will be his uh, spacewalking time. And referring to the correction from earlier, total spacewalking uh, time for International Space Station Assembly and Maintenance, uh, 1,299 hours and 59 minutes of spacewalking time. Uh, that equates to over 53 days. 53 days, 27 hours, and 59 minutes. Expedition 54 uh, total spacewalking time is for three spacewalks is 21 hours, 34 minutes. Two of them were uh, USOS crew members, one Russian spacewalk. Congratulations to uh, Mark Van Hai and Norishige Kanai for rocking through the primary procedures of today's activity and with the help of Joe Acaba and Scott Tingle at the controls for the station's robotic arm and helping our crew members get in and out of their suits. And of course, congratulations to the teams here in Houston led by uh, Zeb Scoville, flight director, uh, with the help of Aki Hoshide at uh, the ground IV console communicating with our astronauts and the EVA teams led by Sarah Corona. That wraps up, wraps up our coverage of EVA 48, the 208th spacewalk in support of International Space Station Assembly and Maintenance. This is Mission Control Houston.